Hello everyone, my name is Jagdeep and I'm the founder of Economica. Today I'm going to walk you through six simple steps on how you can study economics effectively. The first step is to pay attention during the lectures. As a teacher of economics, I have seen students that are not able to understand during the lectures. That is simply because they do not pay attention. I understand that it is very difficult to make notes of everything or to uh, follow everything that the teacher is talking about in the classroom. But the more you pay attention, the better you would understand the concepts that are being explained in the class. The second important step here is to make notes. Jot down everything that you feel is important or that you feel you may not be able to remember once you go back home to study. Once your notes are ready, it will be very easy for you to refer to them. Since they are written in your own understanding, in your own handwriting, your brain will keep it retained for a longer duration. The third important aspect in economics is diagrams. A lot of students struggle with diagrams. They try to memorize it. Please stop memorizing diagrams. If we know the concepts, making a diagram would be a cakewalk. For example, a diagram with regards to, say, the law of supply. So the law of supply says, as the price rises, supply also rises. So if your concepts are right, your x-axis, your x-axis and your y-axis would be labeled correctly. And in that case, your supply curve would be an upward sloping curve and you would never ever get this diagram wrong. Fourth important point is the explanation to these diagrams. We many a times while correcting papers have seen that students they draw the diagrams but they do not explain the diagrams. Reason because they, they were successful in memorizing the diagram but they could not write the explanation. So it is at utmost important that you write the explanation. If you understand the diagram, if you've practiced it well, you will be able to explain it in your own words. And that will be really a good thing for you. Fifth important step here is to read good economics books. If you want to excel in this subject, it is of utmost importance that you stay updated with the current events happening in the world around you. Now, economics is a very practical subject. You can't just watertight it with theoretical knowledge. You have to actually see around you what is happening and how these principles of economics that you're studying are really implemented in day-to-day -day lives. And sixth important step here is to join learning communities. Now, learning communities could be in form of digital coaching, it could be in form of physical coaching, but once you are around those people who are seeking the same knowledge as you, learning, become, learning will become more fun. So if you follow all these steps to the T, learning economics, studying economics, writing your good papers for economics and getting good grades would be a cakewalk. Thank you all for this video. Until we meet you again, cheers.